I'm not a morning person, so I wake up and I normally have to have three coffees in quick succession before I can talk to my husband or my cats. Then I stand in front of the window and look at my garden and that sets me for the day. It's something recent, actually. Um, I had a birthday recently and my husband took me to the Kruger Park and in South Africa. And that was uh, quite an incredible experience. One learns a lot about coming so close to uh, these wild animals and looking at a sense of uh, dignity, I suppose. That was the, it was the thing that I remember. I really loved it. Leopards, um, elephants, rhinoceros. Uh, it was a wonderful experience. My, I suppose, Marguerite Yosenar will be, and the memoir of Hadrian will be my favorite book. Uh, Hadrian was a Roman emperor of Spanish descent, and uh, he uh, was gay. And uh, there is everything in this book that she wrote from his letters, uh, you know, as a fictional sort of biography, but autobiography. But um, there is everything in terms there is the struggle between duty, love, uh, uh, being different and uh, wanting to do the right thing and combining, making mistakes and uh, reflecting on those mistakes is a book that I would recommend to everybody. You know, it, it really is uh, a great manual for what might happen in one's life and gives a very good sense of uh, um, you know, how to think about things and react and uh, move on uh, in, in a positive way. So, yeah, that's my favorite book. I've read it five or six times <laughs> in several languages. <laughs> so, yeah. I think the honest answer will be not a lot, <laughs> which is shameful. But, um, yeah, uh, I... I don't enjoy going to a gym. I do it occasion in, in the, occasionally, as in weekends when I when I have time. But I don't enjoy that kind of exercise. I like to swim in the sea or walk on a beach or do these kind of things or hike somewhere. And I don't often have the opportunity uh, to do that. And so then the exercise, for the sake of it, to me just doesn't appeal doesn't do anything to my endorphins at all <laughs> and so you know it, it is a chore to go to the gym for me uh, where it is not uh, if i had to go up a hill or, or swim or do something like that snorkel or dive yeah that's the problem so i'm not very fit that's uh, uh, unfortunate but true <laughs> i'm fit on holidays <laughs> Very selected. Three. Three in the morning and that's it. I don't uh, drink coffee during the day. I have tea. But in the morning I need that kind of uh, a caffeine bolus to get me going. And uh, then after that, I'm okay. Well, I have any tea, really. I would say probably six. That would be, yeah, six hours. I've never been a great sleeper, even when I was a child. So it's kind of normal for me. I think to have, to have been able to uh, work uh, in, to have a, a, a research program that spans from basic science to clinical science and clinical trials and population science. So to do so, you need to uh, collaborate with a lot of people because you're always branching out onto something that you don't know. And so you make good friends and you learn really a new thing every day, literally. I've been through my career that I can say I have learned something new every day, most days, really. And that, I think, uh, I, I sort of have created a, a job for me that is ideal for me, and I'm quite uh, happy with that. Uh, I didn't slot into a job that was already ready, and I had to struggle more at the beginning to 
to create this job that would fit my uh, aspirations uh, and maybe my qualities. But uh, I, I've managed to do that and I'm very, very happy. Ecstatic, in fact, <laughs> I would say. I know it, it may sound uh, arrogant, but I am not a follower. Uh, so I always thought that for a woman was very uh, dangerous to have role models. You may have the wrong role models. There isn't, uh, at least when I was young and where you have more of a aspiring more to have a role model. I, I really didn't find anything that, uh, or anybody that would cover or particularly, you know, you have, you find inspiration in several people uh, at different moments. That is certainly true. But if I had to say, well, this is, he, this person is my role model and I have really based my career or my thoughts around this, um, I cannot honestly say that I've ever did. I, my daughter is always uh, very upset when I say that because, you know, she expects me to say when she was born. <laughs> but uh, if I have to be very honest, it is the moment uh, uh, that I had my um, that I knew the results of my high school final exam because it was a moment of total, I, at least the way I internalized it, of total freedom. I felt that the world was my oyster. I had my card, you know, to freedom, to go to university, to leave home, uh, to get a scholarship uh, and uh, to do whatever I wanted to do. You know, it was the moment of maximum possibility, you know, uh, without uh, uh, the, uh, the sense of responsibility to some extent and duty and uh, w that I had when my daughter was born, where, you know, there was a certain concern, am I going to be able to do this <laughs> and, or, and to fit this into everything else I want to do and, uh, uh, you know, in my life uh, and everything. So there was some, you know, some anxiety there, whereas that was a moment with zero anxiety and all, right, all possibilities. Uh, and so I really remember that um, moment very, very clearly now. Almost certainly, uh, mathematics. Uh, I, I was, uh, you know, very close when I... Uh, the problem, I would have probably uh, studied maths, but uh, the reason why I haven't done that uh, is because in my generation, if you had some career advice at school, you know, they would tell you that you do maths to teach maths. And I certainly didn't want to do that. But uh, if I had better career advice, because you can do an enormous amount of things with the math degrees, I would have probably chosen mathematics. Then I, uh, I chose medicine for, you, know, you can see it's a recurrent theme, uh, because I felt I could do more different things with a degree in medicine uh, than I would I've done with a degree in mathematics and I was wrong, but I was ill-advised in that respect.